Well folks, early in the morning we are in Washington, a little north of Seattle. And by little I mean three and a half hours. Um, I am with the boy right there, Lunkers TV, and we're gonna go get some food, hopefully, because I'm uh, freaking starving. Oh, look how beautiful this is. Look, we got a scenic bridge. Where's the drone? Rob, where's the drone? 4K, where's the drone? We got a scenic bridge. Nice flowing river. <laughs> For those of you guys that don't know, we're in we're in Washington. Steelhead is what we're after. That is something I have never never targeted, never caught, never seen in person, nothing like that. But that's what I'm with Lunkers TV and that's what we're gonna be doing today. So we this is the boat. Alright, here's what we got going. I've actually been in one of these one time fly fishing in Minnesota like two years ago. Um, but they're just they're just nice little boats. We're just gonna drift our way down and uh, and cast. What are we using? What are our lures? Right there. That's some, more. some nice little pink. Oh, there we go. Some more jigs. Jigs on jigs. So that's the plan, folks. Um, look at look at this guy. He's just he, he is just soaking up the moment right now. Look at look at you drink, drinking your free range coffee in the woods. Oh, yeah, that's kind of Gosh, you're just. This is beautiful though. It reminds me of when I was a kid, just listening and seeing all the. I'm literally just like reminiscing, staring at the trees. Like, look, look at first off, look at the, what is this? That's like, what we call moss. Well, okay. I mean, there's got to be a more technical term, no? It's just pretty, moss. It's pretty. I mean, there's just moss on. This is cool. This is like very, very. All these trees are covered with it. Looks, uh, looks pretty good. But yeah, you, you're just sitting here drinking your, drinking yeah, your well, coffee. Like, look down there. Look at little, those little, those thin trees, all the moss on. Yeah, it, it looks good. It looks really good. So that's it. We are in a, we're in a gorgeous place, targeting Rob, one of Rob's favorite fish, right? So it'll probably be one of my favorites after hopefully I catch one today. But I'm in waders. It's a little cold today. The guy said this is the coldest it's been. So uh, that's just our luck to be here on, on the coldest day. But there's no rain, which is good because in Washington it rains a lot. Especially we're, we're way up north, north of Seattle, a few hours. But uh, we're going to put the boat in the water and uh, we're going to get started. Hopefully we're going to catch some fish today. Let's do it. This reminds me of BC. I guess that's because we're not that far from BC, yeah. huh? Or yeah. Nebraska. I mean, we're pretty far from Nebraska. I don't know. This doesn't look like Nebraska. This is like absolutely gorgeous, though. We're starting off with a little jig tipped with some shrimp. We're going to see if that shrimp does it, but uh, we're out here doing it. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but there's giant boulders everywhere. I feel like I'm going to die. Oh my God, this is insane. Oh my God. Look at this. Like giant boulders. Like if I fall in, I'm wearing waders. Thousand percent dead. Thousand percent dead. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. Oh god. How's your drag? How's your drag? It's good. It's good. It's going. Good about it? Yep, I feel good about it. That's a fish. Oh god. Yes. We're hooked up. We're hooked up, boys. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Okay, all right, all right. Taking it easy now. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Oh baby. Oh baby. Is that a decent one? It's a. I mean, it's a really big. Oh, look at that drag. It's brand new out of the salt. I'm gonna step out. Oh. Dude, this is awesome. Right off. Literally went over the top of a rock and it smoked it. I thought for sure that I was snagged. Yes. Oh God, this feels awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea. We worked so hard for this this morning. Look at that. Come on now, get in the net, baby girl. Don't you pop off, don't you pop off now, don't you do it. Don't you do it now. Come on now, get back over here. You gonna play me dirty like that. Right in the net. Yes. Yes, baby! Woo! Yes! Oh, snap! Oh my god, it's clipped. I think, I think he's good. He's good? Yeah. Right there. That is, uh, that's my fish. We bonked it, is what they say, because it is, because it came from a hatchery, and right. it does not belong here. Right. So you kill it yep. and eat it. Yes, sir. That's the deal. But if it if it wasn't from a hatchery, we wouldn't kill it. We'd yeah. release it, correct? Yep. So that's kind of the deal. We're gonna we're gonna be snacking on that at some point. But we just we bonked it, as they say, which is you basically just kill it. But that is 
That's it. That's the first fish right now. That's a small one though, right? That's, Is small, it, that's yeah. a flare steelhead. That's a small steelhead I've ever seen. Rob said that's a small steelhead he's ever seen. So that's a flare steelhead. But we got to start somewhere, guys. We have to start somewhere. Let's see. We are absolutely in a gorgeous, gorgeous place right here. And uh, yeah, we're going to get back after it. Hey, Rob, how warm are you right now? Toes are done. Toes are numb. No, my toes are gone. More than, you know, like when you get to that point in your life where your toes are burning and tingling? And yeah, they tingle. Tingling is good. I didn't, uh, I didn't really come prepared like I It's cold, so we got we got a heater. To save the day here, we gotta get the heater on Rob's Rob's feet so he doesn't he doesn't die. A few moments later. Put some tape on it, we're good. Did it melt? Through? Some tape? Uh, you just need tape, right? It doesn't melt it through completely, but it's pretty much this area right here is not gonna last very much longer. Rob's having a great day. I'm Just a great day. Oh, yep, that's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, good gosh. Okay, we got a jumper. We got a jumper. I see you now. Oh, what's going on here? What's going on here? I don't know what just happened, but it happened. All right. Oh, he's going. He's going. He's going. Okay. Oh. Is this another dinker? Yeah, this is a dinker. Am I just, am I just really eating up the whole flare fish technique here? Got the, pretty fish. We got it down. Oh, he says, nope, I don't like that net. I don't like that net. You come back this way, little guy. Come back this way, little guy. There he is. Well, I just caught second fish. I'm going to explain to you guys the difference between a... Uh, what do you call it, a hatchery fish and a wild fish. Right. So on this one, see that back fin right right there, that fin? Yeah, that, that means that it's a wild fish if it has that. The fish I caught earlier does not have that, so we don't kill these ones. We uh, we release these guys back in the water. But it's a dinker, just a little guy. Back in the water. That was still exciting. I had a great time reeling that one in. I don't know how much of the GoPro got, but when I set the hook, it went flying, and then right when it got next to the boat, it was like... I don't know, my line got wrapped around the, the bobber and it was going crazy, but it was still fun, very exciting. We got Rob, Rob back there. He's just, he's holding out for the giant. That's what, that's what Rob's doing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I have no perception of what's big and what's not. Like that, to be honest, the first time I ever saw a steelhead was about 10 minutes ago. We're going to keep on fishing. That's good. So it just went from nothing for four hours to two fish in like 20 minutes. So that's, that's good. That's real good. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. Oh my gosh, that's a fish. Oh my gosh, that's a fish. That that completely shocked me. Oh my god, that is a fish. I am. So, oh my gosh, I'm. I thought for sure that I was snagged. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now we're talking. I was trying to get the snag undone and I see a tail come up. Oh my god. Woo. Oh. Okay. There's a. This is pretty big. That looks like a big fish. All right. Yeah. And he's about to be under the oar. Come on. Come on. Come on, Flair. Come on, Flair. Come on, Flair. Come on, Flair. It's a giant, dude. Here you go. Oh, that's the second wind you're looking for right there. That's the second wind. Yeah, he's right here. I can see him. You got him? Nope. There he is. There he is. Come on, Flair. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> what the hell? That's oh my steelhead. God. That's a real one. That, that, we told you those are small. Yeah. I now see why you were saying the other one was so small. This is <laughs> a real fish. Okay, I get it now. Yeah. Oh, that's a fish. Yes! Woo! Yes! There's your Washington steelhead. Oh! <laughs> God. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my GoPro died and there's a fish in the net, so we're gonna go check it out. Oh, look at that beaut. God, such a gorgeous freaking fish. One of the hands down, one of the prettiest fish I've ever caught in my entire life. We're gonna get some quick measurements on it. Let her go. 35. 35? By 15 and a half. 35 by 15 and a half. Yeah, it's right around 15 pounds. Right around 15 pounds? Yep. Magnificent, folks. Absolutely magnificent. All right. Oh, 
He was ready to go. Woo! Not a flare fish, not a flare fish. <laughs> bananas in the boat. We took the bananas out of the boat, moose spots, and look what happened, folks. No bananas. That is myth, myth okay. proven right there. Well, there's a giant tree. The entire thing is a tree. And uh, we gotta get across it. Yeah, this might be interesting. Perfect little gap for the boat. Yeah, you're good. Don't, you don't need to move the tree. Just cut a little hole through it. I mean, I don't know. You couldn't lift this tree with anything. This is nuts. Look how many rings are on that. I'll tell you what. That's, yeah, that's an old tree, I'd say. We are good to go, but look how big that tree is. Quick update for you. <clears throat> Haven't caught anything else, but look at look at by Rob, I think, or somewhere. This is the uh, would you say the scariest, sketchiest, biggest, biggest hairiest, water. biggest, biggest waters we've encountered so far. And we just had some water jump at the boat on the last one. So, oh my gosh, I'm a, I'm glad I'm not in the front. Rob's in the front. You guys, you guys, stay tuned. Oh God, I'm kind of nervous, honestly. Okay, not bad. Okay, not kind of bad. All right, okay. Yup, yup. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Thank god you have a rain suit with a hole in it. Oh my god. Look at all that water. We're good to go, Joe. Hi guys, I'm hooked up. Uh, GoPro died for the second time uh, while, while I'm hooked up. And there's a fish. Yup, yup, yup. Yo, oh, oh. Okay, okay. Didn't like that. No, nope, not a fan of that one. Okay, yeah, he's not done. Not done at all. We're, uh, we're, we're getting to the cl close to the end of the day. And uh, my first cast after we, we dropped anchor. I got hooked up again, so Rob Rob's being the nice guy and he's filming for me right now. Oh come on buddy, there he's going. Come on, right in the net, right in the net. Yeah! Woo! Alright, what do we got in there? That is a really fresh buck steelhead. Really fresh buck steelhead. That is that's also a nice fish. Not quite as big as the one, huh? It's a good ten pound buck. Look at that, baby. Say about 10 pounds, you think? Yep. 10 pounder. Right. Beautiful fish. I'll let you go down that way. Look at those markings on them. What is that from usually, do you know? Um, there, possible it, gill neck. Yeah, I was gonna say. It might I be from a this, line wrap from right now, too. The sturgeon, we were catching them with the... Right. The, all right. See you later, buddy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's another one, yeah. Started off the morning very slow. Um, guy back there, he's due though. He needs, he needs, he needs a giant real bad. No, I'm proving a point. Don't bring <laughs> bananas in the boat. Don't bring. It's, it's the bananas. It, it's it's got to be the bananas because that's I think that's two in a row where I just made one. My base, my first cast back from probably being on my phone or something and following his bait. I mean, he casts and I then I cast behind at 20 feet and mine gets hit and his doesn't and we're throwing we're throwing the same thing. So. I don't know. I'm just I'm just a lucky guy right now, but things could change rather quickly. Six and a half hours later. Have you ever zoomed in with this camera? Have you ever listened to what it sounds like? It's like you go, hey, I want to look at it really cool. It goes, you're like, oh, I can't use that because it goes. Yeah, in case you guys are wondering, that's. Listen. I'm doing it. I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it right now. They're gonna. It's like. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can tell, we are back in the hotel. I think the last thing you saw was me landing the uh, fourth steelhead of the day for myself. It was actually a really good day for me. Uh, this guy, I mean, you're just going to have to go to his channel and uh, to see, because honestly, his video was, it was, pretty, it was pretty killer. I, hey. Pretty killer stuff. I catch bass. He catches bass. I, see, I can't, I mean, my entire living is based off bass. Can't catch him, but I can catch a freaking <laughs> steelhead, so that's sick. Anyways. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in until the very end if you have made it to this point. And tomorrow we're going to do the same thing. So hopefully I can catch a bigger one. We're, we're thinking that one was about 15 pounds. We're, we're going for maybe like 17 or 20, 20 or 20. 20, 20, 20 is a goal. 20, 20 is 20. Okay. So we're going for a 20 tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.